What is going on guys? Just before we get into this week's episode, which is insane by the way, I just want to make a quick disclaimer that this video was filmed before the lockdown took place here in the UK. We hope you're all staying safe. The boys are all currently doing well with everyone trying to beat each other's 5k running scores. What are you saying? I'm looking forward to playing you later. But one, one thing we do know is that the pocket rocket, he can't make it. And he's been I'm training. He's been training for weeks for you. I bet you have. Moses doesn't know. He thinks that pocket rocket's not turning up. He's not really. He thinks he's got it easy. He's not but he thinks he's got a nice easy match. Boys, what's this I'm hearing, man? I've been hearing things Moses saying he's going to beat me. You know, I wasn't planning on coming this weekend. And um, yeah, plans change. I'm here for the revenge, you know, big game. <laughs> <laughs> the big match. Okay. This is what the fans want. Just for me. Just Kim. because you heard what I said about you. Came just for you, bro. Good. This is a big game, bro. You playing it? Yeah. You better warm up 100%. quick because I'm ready. I'm pumped. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. <laughs> Get someone to love against you. <laughs> we got the pocket back to inject some enthusiasm, some energy, and some showmanship to, yeah. to this team. And that's what we need. In sport, you're gonna lose. And you know, even the best in the world, they're losing games. It's yeah. how you react to that, it's how you bounce back. Yeah. It's not about the, the last episode where we lost. No. It's about how we react to that. Winners bounce back. What changed in that last match? And we realized something, they wanted it more. We said at the beginning of the season, that is unacceptable for them to want it more than us. Who wants it more? We want it more! Who wants it more? We want it more! Who wants it more? We want it more! Today, we have a number one the prodigal son returns, the pocket rock. He's back! He's back! And number two, the German. Yes, German! Number three, the ringer. Ring up! Let's go, ringer. Let's go, ringer. Let's go, ringer. Number four, the fander. Come on! He's Come back! On. He's back! He's back! He's back! I've got a little treat for you guys, Ooh. because I know you all like your coffee, and we all love the pocket. Oh! The water park coffee. The pocket coffee! Yeah. 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 I love it! I love it! I love it! Made by Ferrero Rocher, right? they are the absolute nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, problem is, I'm not even playing, I'm gonna be bouncing on the bench. I'm gonna be like that on the bench. Of course you get one. Harry Guy's got one. Yay! So, you have one of these, when you are in the fifth set, you're grinding it out, you hit a donkey, boom, you hit a pocket coffee. Okay. If everyone knows now, I will be battling in my second match. Last episode, we, we forgot who we were. So now we're gonna, we're gonna bounce back. So here we go. Here's your starting four from the Cheers lineup. We're looking to prove strength and depth with the captain and the frog sitting out in this one. The pocket rocket's up first, let's go. So here he is then, the pocket's taken on defensive attacker, Masia, and he's currently 2-1 up in sets. See here, Masia can attack as well. Coming in there, too passive. Someone needs to get this guy a pocket coffee. Pfft. From defense to attack, nice. <laughs> Moses right now is watching the pocket rocket like a hawk. He's just trying to see if he can find any sort of tactics because he knows it's a big one. They've both had beef for a while now. Cheeky backspin serve there. Gives the rocket a match point. Only one needed. He does it. Takes out Messiah and puts TTD in a 1 0 lead. That's the first shot I've beaten in a while. Good job, bro. If Moses, right, he doesn't know this, right? If he gets a pimples on his back, He'll beat me. He's got a chance. He's got a chance. <laughs> How was my performance, yeah? Yeah, it's good. Patient. Difficult game, man. Yeah, tough player. That's the main thing. As long as you're happy. Always happy. <laughs> always happy. Big game this one as the German takes on Daniel Moses, the pocket's nemesis, and they both got a set each on the scoreboard. Christoph there using the lines well. Drops him in. <laughs> These two are bros for life.
Early off the bounce, quality stuff, Christoph. Gives him a set point. Oh, yeah. Quality, mate, quality. Mental disease. The German goes 5-0 up and playing some quality table tennis right now. Chops it. Moses changing his tactics. Oof. <laughs> Great effort. I mean, Moses isn't even moving right now. And he's still spraying shots with quality. The chairman's been grafting for 30 years and he still can't do that. Stick to the fishing, Moses. You'd be useless at swatting flies. I think Moses' mind is on this game with the pocket later on and he sort of underestimated the German. Not often the German gets shot of the day, but you know, he pulls out wins. You know, let's see if he can finish this off now. Another chop. The captain could learn from that one. He's got himself a match point. The German, efficient as ever, puts TTD in a 2 0 lead. I want that man off the bat. He could be on for it. He's stretching with a donkey, but he's done well. <laughs> he's 7 1 up. Oh, he's on again. He went to 7 all and then he won 11 9. Mental resilience. <laughs> <laughs> but if I lose that set, I'll, I'll lose that game. One of the hardest things in international table tennis is recovering from a donkey. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, it's part of TTG pressure. We can't say, nah, let's not do it because he might lose. It's just part of the game now. You have to deal with it. <laughs> That's how good our gaffer is. He's not even here. And he's booked the hotel from home, he's booked the restaurant. That was fantastic. He's, he's somehow been watching the match live. So the ring has been thrown into the mixer and he's battling hard right now against Todd Stanmore. He's 2-1 down in sets. Got a wristy backhand this kid, causing Ringer some problems. No donkeys please Jan. Good stuff, come on. Oh, I've got to play next. Forgot about that. I've warmed up. Got my uh, adrenal glands excreting adrenaline. I've got a tough game. I've got to play a left-hander. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting match. <laughs> yeah, that's a great point. So early off the bounce. And that's got Todd three match points. Ringer just couldn't quite get there, loses out 3-1. Spike saver. We've got the founder in now though, so hope for the best. Hopefully we can pass on the donkey. What's up guys, it's a gaffer. I'm back in the commentary booth. That can only mean one thing. The founder's got his back back out. We join this match at one set each. It's Dan facing Lewis Waddup. Chairman. You still get nervous watching? Yeah. It's yeah. like the only one. <laughs> So we've got Dan facing a chopper here. It's good to mix up the play. What was that? This is what the founder, watching the founder does to you. <laughs> the boys are locked at five points each. That's a big forehand over the table. Everyone's always nervous when the founder's playing. It's tough. It's Okay, stop with the seagull in Dan, let's focus. Come on, Alex! New donkey in town! New donkey in town! Possible to win the following point after getting donkey of the day. You may as well just give him two points. <laughs> because the donkey's worth two anyway. Ah, the lads were right, it is hard to recover from a donkey. We're locked in juice with it all to play for. Good variation from the founder here. And he's got the set point. One more, good sir. Good 
Crunches it. Founder goes 2 1 up. I thought that was another one. Yes! Come on, well Double donkey in four points. <laughs> if the chairman was registered, he would be in, I'm telling you. We have that much confidence in our squad rotation, it's brilliant. We're like Pep Guardiola at Man City. Cool. He chopped that ball back without even looking at it. Founder proven too consistent. So Dan 7 4 up in this set. The double push it works great. The founder's got himself five match points, and that's it. He takes a game and puts the team into a 3 1 lead over Kingfisher. He, he was awkward, I just couldn't get pace. Big shout out to Shirt Pops. The founder had the same problems that the chairman has in that game. He, he was so he was just tense and stiff, and he couldn't get that flow, you know. That, he's inherited from the chairman. Multiple. Look at him, no messing around. Now, in my absence, I thought I'd leave it to the TTD fruit machine to generate our next doubles pair. So, who have we got? The founder and Pocket Rocket. This could be interesting. Backspin, work, backspin yeah. down, backspin <laughs> flow, and then this is the special. Or top spin, or something yeah, yeah. weird. Let's enjoy ourselves, man. Enjoy Let's yeah. embrace the legs. No, what are you using? The Harimoto blade. <laughs> he loves it. I've got, I got the inner force as well. Uh, yeah. Harimoto. I'm really looking forward to this doubles game. It's great, it's a pleasure to yeah. see. The, the founder brings in an amazing comedy value. He, he's yeah. great on the table. And Pocket is going to be he's going to be motivated because, you know, Moses is in there. He's in that doubles team and he wants him. He wants him in this next singles. It's coming up after the doubles. Ronaldo and Messi don't play on the same team together, but our number 10 and 7 do. Here's their best moments. This is an intense game this, the boys are currently 7-4 down in the 5th set. Come on lads! Oh, Dan's been possessed! They're now down by 4 match points. Ah, oh, flicks out. Great effort guys. I'll consider this combo in the future. That's TTD3, Kingfisher 2. This is absolutely huge. This is bigger than a 4-4 showdown. Okay guys, let's just refresh the memory. So in episode 2, Pocket Rocket was 2-0 up against Daniel Moses and flying. Daniel had no answers at all and just started lobbing. And to his surprise, the Pocket just collapsed and couldn't hit a barn door of a banjo, losing the match 3-2. This match has haunted Pocket ever since. It's time for his revenge. Even the video guy wants to see a, a pocket versus Moses showdown. Oh mate, who does it? I reckon it's been one of the games of the season. It's a bigger rematch than Tyson Fury against Deontay Wilder. It's the pocket against Moses. Massive. Let's get ready to rumble! It's begun, I'm buzzing for this one. Look at the backhand to start off the opening point. The pocket's pumped. Moses is bending his knees. He's definitely up for this. You sure he's bending his knees there, Tom? He's been practicing it. Exactly what 
we live for. That's why I come down here on four. I'm so up for this. He's more up for this than oh! He's more up for this than Timo, the European top 16. Pocket's got himself a set point. Oh, he throws in the chop block. Wins the first set, 1-0 pocket. Power on these forehands and Moses just containing him. The smash misses. Yeah, nice forehand from Moses. Any loose ball and he can attack so well and that's what makes it difficult playing him. He's got seven set points here to Moses. Big backhand! Yeah, that would have been nice. This is nuts. Oh, Moses goes for the nosedive. Almost took out the umpire. I mean, could have been a lot worse. PR with those juicy chop blocks. Just can't finish right now. He's not even looking. The ball's coming back down with snow on it. Just misses, so close. Moses goes into a 2-1 lead. PR's fuming. That's more like it, Pocket. Come on, mix it up. Such fine margins, just misses. Gives Moses too much points. Oh, 
This is passion on the highest of levels. We're in juice. Come on, Ume. Clips the edge. Gets the set point. It's 11 all. Nitty gritty. What a point. Moses with another match point. Come on, 12 all. This time Moses crunches the loose ball and yet another match point. Can he take it? That is brutal. Wins it on the net. What a match. That is the best game I have ever watched. What a game. This is great ending for me, man. I think I'm beating myself, you know? I'm missing all my shots. It's really strange, it's like, why am I missing? It doesn't make any sense. But the thing is, I saw it slapping it in the end. Yeah? That was better, yeah, that was much better. I was umpiring, right? The amount of times I got the scores wrong. Because I was watching Daniel Moses fish in oblivion. It's the first time I've ever yeah. hit the net range on the last point and just don't want it. <laughs> it's a great I game. didn't want that. You played well, you played well. Oh, you played well too. <laughs> the bad news isn't that it's now 3 3 after that epic match with Ume. The bad news is Yan is not in top form, you know, and this guy is not an easy customer. Mm. It's going to be a tough and game for Yan. Well. He wants it, he wants it, and Yan is not having his best days. It's low in confidence, you know. Fitness is maybe struggling yeah, a bit due to the knows. injury, due to the injury he's had, he's recovering. Out it's going to be a really tough match game. Rusty. So Yan now takes on Messia, however, he was battling in the front end of this match and he went 2 0 down. After some good talks with the frog, he found some inspiration from somewhere to bring this match to the fifth. came over to me and he said, it's difficult for them without you, right, Captain? Now we're showing them it's not. Here we go then, we're in the fifth and final set. This is massive. Oh. He's so up for this, I love it. It was 2-0 down, the game was gone. It was, it was over, and now he's leading in the fifth. He's got to maintain it. I'm getting chest pains, this is so tense. Uh, <laughs> tactic is middle and forehand. So it's now 9-8 to the ringer. Oh, no! Messiah's woken a sleeping giant in the ringer. He's got a match point. This is what we live for. Massive comeback from being 2 0 down. TTD 4, Kingfisher 3. That is a fire! Yeah, yeah. So find your zone, just concentrate no matter what, yeah, and just yeah. keep yeah. going. You know? 2 0 down, so happy I went for it. So that's how it is. That's how we roll. So in this next match, the German took on Lewis Wad up and was looking strong. <laughs> he cruised his way to 2 0 up, but as always, guys. You can always expect some sort of donkey from the German. Yeah. 
Lewis got himself a set on the scorecard, however it wasn't enough with the German in top form right now and finished the match in style. Oh. TTD 5, Kingfisher 3. I tell you what, I'm on both donkey and man off the match. No, no, you, I've got I donkey already. No, no, no. Whew. I'm still recovering from the pocket versus Moses match. Here we go then, last match of the episode. The founder takes on young Todd. Good start, Dan. Oh no, no, no! I tried, I thought I was fucking one minute. Strong forehand, Dan takes the opening set. He's pulled off a run in there. Oh, that was a chilled forehand. Let's put Dan in the fridge. Oh! With Todd's 9-8 up, he's in strong with the backhand and gets himself a set point. And he wins it. It's one set apiece. Pressure's on. So we're tied up four points each here. Dan's putting in the graft. And he wins it. It's what I'm doing for TTD. 7.30 no at night, I haven't ate all day. I'm eating dry, stale bread. Who's that double of you? Oh, that was grovel. So Dan leads 10-5. All he needs is one point to take that 2-1 lead. Ah, Todd's not making it easy for him. He hit some big winners and he pegged them back. We're locked in juice. It's 13 all. Founder eases off the table and dumps the block in the net. 2 1 down. This guy's hitting everything now. Dan's in trouble. Founder spreading the play well. That's it, keep fighting. <laughs> he is flying! Top edge. That's given Todd the match point. Not to be for Dan in that game. Todd takes it, gives the founder his first defeat of the season, but at least we get the win. TTD5, Kingfisher 4, and we remain top of the table. Well done, lads. Gaffer out. Look, I'll come back stronger. It's a hard game. Guys, what, what a match again. We got through it. It was tough. You know, coming from the previous episode, having a loss. We can lose games and we can bounce back and win. Exactly. character there. 100%. And uh, yeah, boys, look, let's let's have a good night tonight. Relax, enjoy ourselves, you know, chat. That's what that's what we do for sport, for, isn't it? You know, sport is not just about table. I, I lost the match there, but I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys tonight. Listen, I'm Donkey Bear right now, yeah. It's a difficult decision because there was around six donkeys in that match. <laughs> However, Umez was very unique, and he's going to take it. <laughs> oh, oh. It's as good, if not better than Man of the Night. <laughs> <laughs> My bat went flying off. <laughs> not the last time I give you Man of the You haven't given me for ages, bro. You're speaking of Man of the Match. Yeah. This well, is a challenging one. Not really. Not really. Okay. In German. Thank you. Yeah. I can I just say, I think Jan should get 50% of that. His performance in the last game after being 2 0 down coming back. Yeah. That was massive. So we shout up, bro. Yeah. Be sure to subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.